ओके वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स सो वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस हॉट पॉइंट आर टॉपिक ओके इन द लास्ट क्लास हॉट वी हैव डिस्कस वी डिस्कस पॉइंट आर लास्ट टॉपिक इज पॉइंट आर एरिथमेटिक ओके सो इन दिस क्लास वी डिस्कस बेस एड्रेस बेस एड्रेस फर्स्ट इज बेस एड्रेस बेस एड्रेस मीन्स वॉट इट इज द फास्ट मेमोरी एड्रेस फास्ट मेमोरी लोकेशन ओके सपोज दिस इज ए इंटेजर पॉइंटर आई एन टी पी राइट एंड हेयर सपोज वन वेरिएबल ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस इज द सपोज मेमोरी लोकेशन वॉट वन जीरो जीरो वन एंड सेकेंड वन इज वॉट वन जीरो जीरो थ्री वाई थ्री बिकॉज दिस इज आई एन टी वेलो इंटेजर वेलो कैच डिफारेंस इज टू बिकॉज मेमोरी कंज्यूम बाय आई एन टी रेडर एफ वेलू इज वॉट टू बाइट्स सो द पॉइंट आर पी सपोज वेरिएबल इज ए एन बी एम पार्सन ए सो दिस इज द फास्ट एड्रेस दिस फास्ट एड्रेस इज कॉल्ड बेज एड्रेस ओके मीन्स ए पॉइंटर इफ यू राइट ए डेफिनेशन ए पॉइंटर holds a pointer holds the address of the very first the address of the very first byte of the memory location very first byte of the memory location where it is pointing to the address of the first byte is called base address means again i will show you suppose ke in character pointer how it is working in character pointer how it is i show you how it is working suppose ke one character a is memory address is what suppose 100 वन ओके एंड वन कैरेक्टर पॉइंटर सीपी एंड सीपी स्टोर वाट दिस सीपी सॉरी दिस मेमोरी लोकेशन इज स्टोर बाय वाट सीपी राइट एंड दिस इज कॉल बेस एड्रेस ऑफ Yes. Means what? I only told you base address is what first memory address. Means suppose one array, there are four floating number point. Means four extra what memory address. And what is the difference between that floating number memory address? Suppose they are suppose this is an array, floating array. Okay, sixteen point one, sixteen point two, sixteen point three, and sixteen point four. Right. Then every value has a unique memory address. So this is one zero zero one one zero zero five one zero zero nine one zero one three. Why difference is four? Because float data type has consume how many memory bytes? Float data type has consume four bytes of memory. Right? That's why difference is four. See five nine thirteen. Right. Then this fast memory address, which is stored by this fast memory address, is called base address. Just simple. Okay. Next is very important topic: dynamic allocation operator. I hope you remember dynamic memory allocation and static memory allocation. I can tell you.
dynamic allocation operators. See, again I tell you, what is static memory allocation and what is dynamic memory allocation? Static in static memory allocation, memory is allocated in compile time. And dynamic memory allocation, memory is allocated in run time. Means, in, in basically, static memory allocation is what? Which is predefined in the earlier. Means, the memory block will be predefined. Means, it will be static. Like array. Okay? Array concept is under static memory allocation concept. You can neither be expanded or neither be contracted. Okay? Neither be compressed. Okay? in the runtime okay it will be static means constant but linked list concept is dynamic memory allocation the array concept is static memory allocation and linked list concept is dynamic memory allocation why dynamic because in linked list i teach you linked list topic in data structure part after that this chapter ending so, in linked list, the node can be the node which store the memory, means store the byte, the element. The node can be added, you can add it or you can delete it in runtime, okay? When the program will be already executed at that execution time, at that moment, you can, if you wish, you can, suppose one node is not necessary, then you can delete this node at the runtime. Or suppose you have to want one node for allocation, memory allocation, then you can add one extra node in the time of execution. That concept is called dynamic memory allocation, means you can add or delete at runtime. Okay, means memory is finally executed in the runtime. Suppose in linked list, there is thin three node. Okay, last, this pointing will be null. I so you just understood basic thing. This linked list topic will be covered by in the next chapter. I detail tell you, briefly teach you. So in this, suppose you take this is the linked list one linked list. So each consists element 27, 28, 29. Suppose you see you have need one extra memory, extra node. Then how it, it will be happen? Suppose you need one extra node between these two nodes. Okay. Then you can easily add one extra node. Now this pointing will be here. Means suppose I detail show you. Suppose this is a node. Last pointing will be null, right? This is 25, 26, 27. Okay. Suppose you need a extra node between in, in this node for some memory allocation. Okay. Then you will be this pointer pointing will be pointed to this new node and this node is coming in here then you have to suppose you have to put one value 30 then you can add this node at the time of at the time in execution at the time in execution but at the time of execution you can say 17 okay this is dynamic memory allocation concept or suppose if you wish to that this node is not necessary then you can delete it and this pointing will be go to directly null anything but when we define array when you define array, suppose you define an array A5, index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This memory will be static. Right? This memory will be what? Static. Suppose you add three integer values. This is int array. Right? 
डिस टू विल बी वाट मेमोरी वॉज दैट और सपोज यू नीड टू बी एट सिक्स और सेवेन इंटेजर वैल्यू सपोज वन और टू और इंटेजर वैल्यू यू हैव टू बी नीड टू बी एलोकेट इन दिस देन हाउ यू विल बी एलोकेट बिकॉज दिस विल बी कम्प्लीट दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड दिस न्यू वैल्यू दिस कॉन्सेप्ट विल कमिंग ओभार फ्लो कॉन्सेप्ट ओभार फ्लो इट विल नॉट पॉसिबल इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज इट इज ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड एट कम्पाइल टाइम यू नाथिंग बी इंसार्टेड एट द रान टाइम दिस मेमोरी इज डिफाइन एट कम्पाइल टाइम वैन यू राइटिंग ए प्रोग्राम एट द कम्पाइल टाइम यू ऑलरेडी डिफाइन दिस मेमोरी एलोकेशन कन्सेप्ट यू डिफाइन ए एरे ऑफ मेमोरी साइज फाइव दैट यू मास्ट बी इन साइड मेक्सिमाम हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट फाइव ओके मेक्सिमाम फाइव यू नेभार भी इन साइड एट सिक्स नम्बर सेभेन नम्बर अफ भेरिएबल बिकज दिस मेमोरी उल भी स्टेटिक कन्स्टेन्ट एंड दिस उल भी डायनमिक इन डेट दिस लिंगलिश कन्सेप्ट दिस लिंगलिश कन्सेप्ट यू कैन एड और दिलेट एट दि रान टाइम और एट दि एक्जिक्यूशन और रान टाइम सेम थिंग ओके सो फॉर दिस आई इरेज दिस स्टेटिक पार्ट फॉर दिस एलोकेशन एंड डी एलोकेशन कन्सेप्ट इन डायनमिक एलोकेशन अपारेटर उज टू मेन अपारेटर उज टू मेन अपारेटर वन इज निउ वन इज डिलेट निउ इज फर एलोकेटिंग द मेमोरी एंड डिलेट इज फर डी एलोकेटिंग दि मेमोरी राइट सी डिटेल नोट्स उल बी डिटेल नोट इज इन दि बुक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीड इट इन डिटेल देन यू रीड द बुक आई डोट प्रोभाइड यूर नोट आई अलरेडी ओल्ड यू टू मेक द नोट बाई योर सेल्फ एंड इफ यू एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस टपिक कम्प्यूटर सैंस टपिक यू कैन आक्स मे इन एनी टाइम डोट बी एजिटेड डोट बी एफ्रेड ओके यू कैन आक्स मे एनी टाइम फॉर एनी थिंग रिगार्डिंग कम्प्यूटर टपिक कम्प्यूटर सैंस टपिक सो डायनमिक एलोकेशन अपारेटर हेप टू अपारेटर मेनलि आई ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी वन इज निउ एंड वन इज आदार वन इज डिलेट निउ वन इज फर एलोकेशन अफ मेमोरी एंड डिलेट वन इज फर डी एलोकेटिंग द मेमोरी मीन्स डिलेट द मेमोरी राइट सो दिस इज द मेन कन्सेप्ट एंड वन इज क्रिएटिंग डायनमिक एरे creating dynamic array means what suppose this is a pointer int value This is an array of how many memory allocation memory size ten. New is for allocating. New is for allocation of array. And this array is pointed by a pointer value integer pointer because this is in integer array. That's why your pointer variable is also under int array. Means this will be same. This must be same. Okay. Because int pointer store the memory of int value, float pointer store the memory of float value, character pointer store the memory of character value, right? Okay. So we have to done one program. Okay. Pointer program is very important for a theory as well as for practical purpose. Okay. See. 
राइट ए प्रोग्राम टू क्रिएट टू एर ए टू क्रिएट टू एर ए टू स्टोर रोल नंबर एंड मार्क्स to store roll numbers and marks of some students of some students whose number would be known whose number would be known at run time When we define the run time, means this allocation is what dynamic allocation memory. When we define the run time, means this memory allocation is dynamic allocation memory. Okay. Now we have to write this program. See. ओके ओके देयर इज यू हैव टू डिफाइन ग्लोबल वेरिएबल ग्लोबल वेरिएबल मीन्स आउटसाइड मेन फंक्शन आई एन टी रोल नंबर मीन्स वन इंटेजर पॉइंटर एन वन फ्लॉट पॉइंटर आईएनटी साइज ओके राइट डाउन दि टॉपिक आईएनटी साइज हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर देयर in the array this is a printing statement okay we have to this coming under variable size right this okay after that this is the main concept we have to allocate this variable size new int size and marks will be new float size right ओके आस वेल आई सो यू दिस दिस प्रोग्राम विल बी लॉन्ग आई टेल यू दिस पर्सन वाट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द प्रोग्राम मीन्स वी हैव टू क्रिएट टू एर ए वी हैव टू क्रिएट टू एर ए टू स्टोर रोल नंबर एंड मार्क्स ऑफ साम स्टूडेंट हुज नंबर एट रान टाइम राइट मीन्स वन एर ए फॉर रोल नंबर एंड अनादर एर ए फॉर मार्क्स ओके means we have to create we have to create two array one is for roll number and another one for 
arcs, right? And we have to allocate this memory at the time of when run time. Means these two array memory will be allocated means memory will be allocated means memory location will be allocated dynamically right don't be confused i know i say you did array static allocation that how static memory allocation that how it will be in, uh, coming on dynamic i know some you will be perplexed about that don't be perplexed we have to take just two array but the memory location of the every variable store will be allocating by dynamically means this line is for dynamic dynamically allocate roll number array okay and This is for dynamically allocate float array, right? So here we use this variable pointer variable as a what global variable. Why global? Because this is declared outside the main function right and i already teach you in the beginning of the pointer in the pointer where program port global variable heap memory heap means free memory storage which memory will be like dynamically and what okay Okay. Heap memory means free memory. So after this, you continue the program. After this, I erase this part. If roll number and marks are not available, then out of memory. Okay, return one. Else, or you can write directly for loop i and t i is equal to zero. I less than say i plus plus. See out. Enter roll number and marks for student. I plus This part I erase you. First of all, I write down after that I explain you the logic behind this program. Very easy program, this is very easy program. Don't be afraid. Very easy program. Okay. 
रोल नंबर मार्क्स बैक्सलेस टी वी यूज बैक्सलेस टी बिकॉज टेप द मार्क्स एस Okay, and last one thing is we have to write delete. Roll number marks return zero. Right. See what. This concept is easy. You see, if roll number and marks both are not available, means it will be out of memory. Okay. Otherwise, a roll number and marks array are available. The loop is in first step. Man, how many elements in the array size? Suppose you have to size six, means your index will be coming from. Zero to five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Right? Enter roll number and marks for student. Roll number I R marks I means you have to take two array. Okay? And both will be same size. Suppose roll number one and the marks is eighty one point two. Roll number two eighty three point six. Roll number three. 81.46. I take decimal value because it will be cover under uh, 93.1. Something like that. Okay. We have to allocate this memory using which operator? New. And we have delete this deleting memory. We are using delete. Okay, this is simple allocation and deallocation program using new and delete. Okay, it is a program of simple memory allocation of dynamically and memory deallocation dynamically using new and delete operator. Okay, this output will be coming like that. You have to enter some variable and roll number value and floating point value for. Marks array, then it will be shown you that, and the space is provided by is H space tab. That's why we use backslash T. Okay, so this will be enough for this class. In next class, we have to continue this topic. Okay, thank you.